In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some essential starter potions. We're going to be making fire res, water breathing, and potion of swiftness. Okay, let's get started. So all you need is some blaze rods, redstone dust, water bottles, magma cream, and some nether wart, and obviously a brewing stand. We're going to start off by turning the blaze rod into blaze powder, and then in the brewing stand, we'll put the blaze powder right there. It lights that up, and then we will put the water bottles. You can do this with up to three bottles at a time. And then you put nether wart in, and that turns the water bottle into an awkward potion, and you just have to wait for this little bar to go down. Now that's an awkward potion, so we can just throw the magma cream in there, and it'll turn that into a potion of fire resistance. And these are great for nether exploration, because if you ever happen to fall into lava, you can just chug one of these and then swim to the shore. So now we have a potion of fire resistance, but as you can tell, it only lasts for three minutes. So I always like to throw the redstone dust in there. And once this white bar goes up or goes down, <laughs> it lasts for eight minutes and both are good. You can use the three minute one or the eight minute one, but I just prefer to always make it eight minutes because it only costs one redstone dust. And then it just gives you more time if you fall in lava to swim to shore. Okay, as you guys can see, I am now in survival. So I drink the fire res potion and now I can jump into lava, not taking any damage. So then I can just, you know, swim back up to the surface and find the nearest bit of land. I just gotta mine this. And there we are. As you can see, I'm on fire, but I'm not taking any damage because of the fire res potion. Also, what are the odds that like right where we spawn in, there is another fortress, look at that. And that is all. There's the potion of fire resistance. So to make the potion of water breathing, we're gonna put the water bottle here, blaze powder here, and then the nether wart right here. And that's gonna turn it into an awkward potion again. And the awkward potion is a good base for a lot of different potions. So as you can see, that's an awkward potion now. And at that point, you'll put the puffer fish up here and that will turn it into a water breathing potion. And as you can see, that water breathing potion only lasts three minutes, just like the fire res potion. So we're gonna throw a redstone dust in there and that will bring that time up to eight minutes. Okay, as you can see, the game mode is now in survival. So you just gotta drink the water breathing potion. And now I have the effect on me go swimming and my bubbles don't disappear. So for the next eight minutes, I can do as much water exploration as I want. Okay, on to the next one. So now we're gonna be making the potion of swiftness. So we're gonna put the water bottle in the brewing stand and then we're gonna put the nether wart in there and that'll turn it into an awkward potion again. So now that we have that awkward potion, we're gonna throw sugar in here and that'll turn the awkward potion into a potion of swiftness. Now that only lasts three minutes. And if you'll notice, this one says plus 20% speed. So you could put in glowstone dust and that'll increase the speed or you can put in redstone and that'll increase the duration. So I usually like to use the redstone dust it just makes it last longer. So now that lasts eight minutes. So I just have to drink Potion of Swiftness and now that effect is active and I can run much faster. So it's great if you're traveling long distances or doing some exploring or even just for getting around. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you found this video helpful, then like and subscribe. And if you guys want more, I will make a part two and hope you guys have a great day.